everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Amy if you're new here and today I'm going to start part two of the bedroom makeover I have no idea how many parts this video is going to be I'm trying to do them in like 15 minute sections so you're not kind of listening to me babble on for too long but yesterday was a big Essex thrift trip and I did get a couple of pieces of homeware which I have shown in a haul um, but I will show you them now for the bedroom update. All right, this is the overview of the room again. As I said, I'm going to change out this wall at some point, but not quite sure. And um, the main thing we're doing in this video is changing out the wardrobes and organizing my clothes. Um, but I have got a couple of extra little bits of bric-a-brac. So I've got these candles and candlesticks. Um, these are £3 from the charity shops. I've got this vase, which I'm going to put some flowers in. Um, I still got my new bedding on, um, but I have managed to find an IKEA Pax wardrobe for only £130 on Facebook Marketplace. That is going to take it out to past this drawers. So the desk will have to move over slightly and I'll have to get rid of the drawers. Um, but that is what we're going to do today. So the first thing we'll do is get out all the clothes and stuff in this wardrobe and stack them on my floor. Um, I'm aware that I'm probably having to live in mess for a little bit until this is kind of sorted but i'm going to dismantle these wardrobes get everything out because i have listed these on facebook marketplace so if these sell then it'd be convenient then to be able to get rid of them um someone has messaged me about them so i'm hoping i get some interest i have only put them up for 30 pounds because wardrobes don't really sell um so hopefully then i'll get someone to buy them and i said i'm gonna get stuff out of there and then i'm probably gonna build my wardrobe tomorrow um however i, I might end up doing it today if i get a burst of energy but not sure i'm gonna be able to do it by myself i'm not sure my parents are up for it right now okay so yesterday i made some huge progress i guess you'd say it's one of the things that it has to get really messy before it gets tidy look at my hair so basically this morning i had to take my friend katie to the airport so i had to leave at like 4 5 a.m um so it's now like only like just gone seven o'clock and i have had a little organized so basically last night i took down my current wardrobes um and unfortunately it has exposed loads of mold which i'm going to show you because you know realities um so i'm trying to clean that off at the moment but we have run out of mold killer cleaner thing so basically i can't really do anything now until the shops open because i need to get some mold killer I need to also go to the Lighthouse Furniture Project and donate some bits and bobs that I had electrical wise. I had a Hoover in my wardrobe. There was like a little Hoover that I was gonna say I'd keep up here to do odd bits and pieces, but it was so rubbish I never really used it. Um, and some other like little bits and bobs, and then some other stuff from the charity. I'm gonna donate to the charity shops. Just odd books and stuff that I found that I just wanna get rid of. Um, but let's show you the progress I've made. So this is the stuff that was in my wardrobe. So it is quite a lot. I'm hoping I'll be able to organise this though. Um, a lot better because there is more room in this wardrobe and there's also loads of drawers whereas the other one didn't really have any drawers um it did have a chest of drawers inside sounds com confusing but i'm going to try and sell them and um, basically this is what we're working with i've got my alex my tall alex drawers that were there um i've got that here for now because hopefully i'll be able to kind of wiggle this stuff about and i'll be able to get rid of this one um because i've not really got any room for it but this is where the wardrobe was and that is the issue i am facing at the moment um however i think it's gonna be okay um so basically the idea is i do want to get a smaller desktop to go on here because i don't like this wood effect um so i'm either i'm going to ikea this evening so i think i'm going to try and get the smallest size of this desk and i might just cover it for now with some vinyl until i can actually work out what i want to do um so that's gonna go there and that'll be a tiny bit smaller um probably gonna keep some legs but spray paint them and then i'll sort out that area later that's like a later me problem um but this is the main priority right now so i'm gonna get the wardrobes up and assembled hopefully today i'm gonna get my friend emily to help me it's hopefully what i'm gonna do today and then i can organize all my stuff into the wardrobe and then kind of know how much space i have to work with desk and things like that so once i get the wardrobe in um i can then sort of organize all of that a bit more i get the stuff get it in here tidy again um and then i can start working on more decor things um and all that sort of jazz okay so i've brought up the new wardrobe these are all drawers and sort of that sort of thing and here is the frame so i think we've got four drawers on one lot and two drawers on the other which is perfect so i think we've got four big drawers which is going to be so much storage i really was worried that i was actually not going to gain much storage from this but i do think i will because of four of these big is it four or three of these big ones three of these big ones and then i've got 
shelves and a couple of little drawers as well so this is gonna be plenty in fact like, i think i can probably fit all of my under in one which is insane i'm really really excited to sort of organize everybody it's later that day and you know i said i was gonna get emily to help me we can't do it we did one thing yeah and we think we did that wrong i'll show you this is the only space we've got in the room <laughs> oh we need a real grown-up yes. the wardrobes are in i am so happy i do also think i'm gonna get freaked out in the night if i roll over and see myself but they're done i can't tell you how exhausted i am me and my mum did them in the end emily did help we have got one door on a lot higher than the other one. We are aware. There's niggly things we need to fix. I haven't put stuff in them yet. The rails, for some reason, we can't get them to go on. So you need to sort out the rails. But I've chucked the things that are on my bed in there, just on the shelves. I'll give you a full tour when I'm organising it. But the wardrobes are up. Okay, everyone. It's the next day. I'm feeling a lot more energised. Um, I have been at work all day today. It's about half six, seven-ish. Um, I've just started putting things in my wardrobe. I want to get my clothes in tonight um, and then start organising stuff. Not fast if I get it all done. I'm only working half day tomorrow, so I've got more time tomorrow I can do it. But ideally, I do want to kind of get my wardrobe sorted so tomorrow I can start maybe thinking about a desk. Um, but I'm going to show you the inside of the wardrobe. I don't think I did that yesterday, so I'm going to show you that now. So essentially the wardrobe is this double wardrobe and then we've got a single wardrobe. Um, so inside the double wardrobe, I've just hung one of my blazers because I had it in here. We have got this glass top kind of shelf. I don't really feel like much will be on here because the clothes will probably hang down. Then we've got a very, very, very slim shelf, like literally an inch high. I'm thinking potentially jewellery on this laid out so I can see it. I don't know how to get that to work. I'd love to have kind of my earrings and all my jewellery on here. I think I'll be really aesthetically pleasing and also really practical because this drawer won't really hold much. This is the opposite. This is an absolutely massive drawer. This is got a glass top. I'm thinking I could do trousers, maybe store what is in there, which is kind of jumpers, t-shirts, trousers in here. Um, I'm thinking some sort of clothing. I've also got another one, which I'm thinking I want one for underwear and have all my underwear, socks, tights, everything in one place. I do think I might have to go get some organizers for these drawers just because they are so big. And then I've got another drawer, which is that same kind of giant size. So I could do these for clothes, could do these equally for like underwear and stuff. I'm not entirely sure. I think I am just going to play around because then in the second section of the wardrobe, I have got again a rail at the top for clothes and I've got one dress hung in it. And then I've got two more massive drawers. These aren't quite as wide, but they are really quite deep still. So I'm thinking to have stuff in there and there is space at the bottom. So that's what I'm working with. So I'm not kind of married to any idea yet. I'm kind of happy just to kind of throw things in, play around with it and see where it takes me. I'm going to wax the music on and have a little play around. Hello everyone, it is a couple of days later. I was at the charity supermarket last night, so I'm knackered. But it means I've got the day off. Um, I have got some clients later, but day off of Haven's job. Um, my dad is trying to fix my light. As you guys know, I brought a really lovely chandelier, but it's causing a bit of problems hopefully the next clip you'll see it will be up and not a smashed mess on the floor it's up it's up and it's looking gorgeous so there is something we need to fix not fix but um sort out basically where the ceiling rose is meant to be up uh, it's really hard to explain basically we've hooked the hook underneath the ceiling this is meant to the hook goes above the ceiling and the ceiling rose is what kind of connects it to the ceiling is that a bruise or is that dirt? I don't know. Anyway, it's up and I'm going to show you it. She is stunning. I'm actually going to turn off the lights. It's hewing very orangey on here. So I don't think you can really see it. So this is basically a bit of foam that I'm going to paint, um, which will hopefully just blend it in. But that's just covering um, sort of the mechanism to get it up. But to be honest, from most angles, you can't even see it. And she is stunning. I was changed out the pictures on here, which I think I've already shown, but... It looks lovely and also when I take a selfie in my mirror, she's so pretty because she's there. I love it. I'm now going to show you my wardrobe. Okay, so I think I've got the majority of stuff in my wardrobe where I kind of want it for now. Obviously, I still have to start these handles, which is a problem that I'll probably solve in next week's video or next time I do a video. But I will show you what is inside and how it's all organised. 
Okay, so in the top here, I've got my skirts, I've got my blazers and tops. So basically all the things that go on my top half plus some skirts. I've organised them in colour order just because that's how I personally like to organise my wardrobe. And you can definitely see the patterns starting to poke out of all of my favourite items. My flowery cardigan from Cats of Research, my new funky cardigan from Shelter, my nice funky blazer from Havens. And yeah, it's definitely coming together in the colours I want. I definitely feel like more of a rainbow and happiness when I look in my wardrobe. Then if you pan down, you can see these drawers. So I actually have only two of them full at the moment. And I am also looking for dividers. I'm going to get next time I'm in the way of Ikea. Um, because at the moment, it's kind of a bit of drive out to go. And I don't really want to drive out just for the sake of it. Um, but I am going to get some dividers to organise my underwear drawer. But my trouser drawer is completely organised. And I am obsessed I like having it like this because I can't buy any more trousers. And if I do, one has to go, which is a nice rule. I've already got rid of a couple. Um, I thought I'd just talk you through some of them because I feel like I haven't spoken to you for my trousers for ages. These ones are from a boot sale. These are from St. Luke's, um, Haven's Hospices, um, Scents in Hull. These ones are from Marie Curie. Their ones are from Age UK. Then I've got this pair of black trousers these are from cynic's hospice then i've got this pair of leather trousers which are my bigger ones i've got kind of a paper bag waist they're from cancer research i then got my slinky trousers that i wear all of the time they're from depop i then got some black leather trousers which i actually got in matalan before i started shopping second hand i've got some sparkly ones from where are they from sense Billericke, i think then I'm not going to speak you through all of them, but I've got all of my trousers in here and I've also managed to fit my jeans in here, which is amazing because these were actually taking up two whole boxes in my cupboard and now they're all in here. I can see them all. I can also then kind of see the colours that work with the tops above, which I really, really like. Um, on this thinner drawer, I am thinking, I kind of want to felt line it, I'm thinking, and then put all my earrings, which are in this box, and necklace, I want to lay out all my jewellery. At the moment, all I've got in here is my little solitaire game, which doesn't really have a home at the moment, but it fits perfectly in there, so I think I probably will end up keeping it in there. Then, in here is just my underwear drawer. This is... It looks chaos, but it actually is organised. I just need to get the proper dividers for it. Um, I've got a couple of them. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to go into too down too much. This is my underwear drawer and it is messy. Um, so this whole drawer is completely empty and so is the underneath. So I can fill that up kind of as and when I need to. Then on top of my wardrobe, this box is full of my cleaning supplies and that box is full of loads of odd bits and bobs. Um, things such as like my Disney posters, um, like books and all that sort of thing. Um, then if you come over to this side of my wardrobe, my sort of single wardrobe, we've got my dresses and my coats hung up. Here is just one of my bags, it's one of my big... Um, my fake Christian Dior tote bag. In this one, I've just got cozies, thermals, and gym stuff. Basically stuff I don't really reach for um, on the everyday basis. This one, I've just got my paperwork. I'm not going to show too much in there, but that's my paperwork and bits and bobs like that. And then underneath, I've got my cricket and my cricket supplies. It's actually going to be where I leave today's video. The next sort of things I need to sort out is my desk. Um, I'm still looking for kind of a desktop or I might see about cutting this desktop into a shape I like and then painting it. We've also got to sort out the mirror, work out what I'm doing with that. I have got a date in the diary to paint this and also strip the wallpaper and paint that. They're like my next big task I need to do. Um, I've got a date with my friends to paint, um, to do the, both the mural and the wall. Um, so that is a date that is in the diary and will happen somewhat soon. It's in about April, I think. Um, still got to work out bedside tables. So there's still a lot more we need to do, but it's coming along really nicely. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, comment what your favourite feature is in the room. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.